Officials in the Ukrainian region of Zaporizhia say a two-day-old baby has been killed by a missile strike on a hospital's maternity unit. The infant's mother and a doctor, who were reported to have been the only other two people in the unit at the time, have been rescued from the rubble. The news comes as Ukraine's President Zelensky says there were no more unplanned cuts to power supplies across the country on Tuesday as the weather gets colder and Ukraine deals with waves of Russian attacks on its infrastructure. Well, let's get the latest on the situation from our correspondent Jess Parker, who's in the capital, Kiev, and then that missile strike on a hospital in the southern region of Zaporizhia. Jess, just showing that civilians are still very much at risk wherever they are. Well, what we've heard from authorities so far this morning and overnight is, as you've been saying, that there was a missile strike uh, on a maternity ward, part of a, a wider hospital in the town of Vilnyansk, which is just east of the city of Zaporizhia, so in Ukrainian-held territory. Uh, we don't have many details at the moment, but what the authorities are saying, that at the time in that ward, there was just one woman, one mother, whose baby had been born two days ago and that very sadly while the mother was rescued from the rubble uh, the two-year-old baby boy sadly died now we're also hearing reports that a doctor has been left in a serious condition and that rescuers have been on the scene as well that's another element to this war we can see how much colder the weather is getting there in Ukraine. As well as the threat of missile strikes, they're also, Ukraine is also dealing with the threat of, of power cuts. Yeah, I mean, not just a threat, but actually something that is happening to some extent on a rather organised basis. So because of the strain on the infrastructure following recent strikes on energy infrastructure, uh, they have taken the decision to carry out planned blackouts, essentially power cuts, that households and businesses are trying to find ways of dealing with. So when you talk to people in the city of Kyiv, for example, where I am, you can see it's pretty cold uh, and it will get colder over the coming months uh, as well. People will say, well, I know that from this time for about four hours, I'm not going to have any power. I'll work around that. Some businesses, for example, uh, will just briefly kind of shut down their operations or switch the way they're working in order to carry on. But there have also been emergency uh, power cuts. And what we're hearing from President Zelensky is that whilst obviously they want to move ahead with the planned ones, they can't rule out further emergency cuts as well, depending on the strain on the infrastructure and depending, of course, on whether there are uh, further strikes. There's been a bit of respite over the last few days as they've really worked to try and repair some of that infrastructure. But it's not something you can necessarily do instantly you need the parts in order to maybe look at repairing substations and power lines as well so that's something they've been scrambling to do as well working with international partners to try and find the right parts in order to carry out those repairs jessica thank you jessica parker in kiev